Uh, bonjour, hola, good day, moi moi, konnichiwa, sawadi, it's me, Tamil, and welcome to an episode of Kerbal Space Program. My rockets are failing as much as my attempt to record this episode are. If you're watching it, it's finally succeeded. Now, uh, I've unlocked some new tech, uh, namely some aerodynamic nose cones, stabilizers, and bigger rockets. Uh, I'll show you the rocket that I had going on. Let's have a look at it. So, it's too big. It's too big. I can't get out of the atmosphere. I don't know whether it's the amount of thrust, but this was my exploratory probe, and I just can't... Oh, I'm willing to give it a go. Here we go. I've got the stabilizer assist thing on. I mean, I'm not operating at full thrust. That's good. This is only the solid, solid fuel... See, look, it's turning. No! <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem that I'm having. <laughs> I didn't get very high there, did I? Did not get high. So we're going to go back to the space center and we're going to modify the design somewhat. Namely, we're going to make it a little bit smaller. Here's hoping to get out of the atmosphere. I've been doing all right in the tutorials. So po probe. Um, let's go uh, fuel tank. No. Yes, fuel tank. <laughs> fuel tank. Bonk. Uh, rocket. Oh no, I need a decoupler. Now the idea is to go into space and just like shoot myself off in some random direction and then transmit back some very delicious science. But I'm really having trouble. So science module, this thing here, this junior science machine gave me lots of science if I can use that fantastic I'm gonna take a mystery goo module just in case I can transmit both there we go so we've got that um, now I need a booster uh, sorry a rocket now I've been trying this little, little, this reliant one but maybe it's too heavy where's weight oh, let's just use the better engine so we've got the better engine I want a decoupler. Where's my decouplers? Decoupler. Boop. Love that. I love how it's like an enclosed module. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the biggest solid state booster right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for maximum, maximum fins. That's the plan. Maximum fins. There we go. And then for the booster as well, I want maximum fins. Are they in the same place as each other? No. Let's just uh, tweak that ever so slightly. Okay, that's my rocket. I want a heat shield because I will be leaving the atmosphere at some speed. Now, center of mass, let's check that. That's all right. That's okay, isn't it? Let's try it. Dun, dun, dun. Clean the launch pad and recover spacecraft. Yes. I know I got no science. I have to keep rubbing it in. Science is really hard to get in this game. Really tough. Right, okay, here we go. So toggle stability assist. Off we go. We're off. No need to turn or anything. I'm just leaving the atmosphere. I don't want to turn. I don't need to go into orbit. I just want to leave the planet and not come back. Seems the fins are helping a lot. We will see when this solid state... This is the first time I've used this booster as well, so... Oh, okay, I'm getting quite a bit of wind resistance there. That's going to heat up, I'm sure. But I've got a heat shield. It should be fine. The missile looks kind of imposing. Okay, here we go. Going to separate any any moment now. We're going to kick in the other engine. Any moment. Oh, it's exciting. It's going to cut out. <laughs> Success! Okay, we're still going. Now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna burn straight up and use up all the fuel I can. That heat shield is that heat shield helping? I guess it's dissipating it over the pod and the communication module, but the wings. I might not be able to escape the atmosphere. I'll be honest. And that's gone. Will I escape? Oh look, I love the sections falling away. It's so delicious. There's only one way to find out if I'm gonna escape the atmosphere and that's to speed things up. I might. I'm traveling pretty fast. 
No way. I think I've managed it. You're not coming back. Jebediah Kerman, you're not coming back. You're still going. <gasps> I reached escape velocity. I'm sure of it. I'm still going. Okay. So I should probably try and communicate back some science. Observe materials bay. 8.8 8 science, 25 if I come back safely, but I'm not. So let's transmit that. Media removed, module inoperable. Oh, module inoperable. Okay, so it only happens once. Not enough electric charge. No, come on. Observe mystery goo. Free science, transmit. Yes, please let me transmit. Warning, not enough electrical charge. No! Does that mean that it's not... I don't know. Okay, so I'm officially... I'm going back down. Oh, no! I'm not going to survive re-entry. I don't have a parachute on or anything. I'm going to be coming in very hot. <laughs> Burning up in the atmosphere! Oh! I survived! Well, briefly, I'm afraid... This is going to be a rather quick landing, followed by a sudden stop. <laughs> Jebediah, no! The pod, the pods, the pod's still there. You're telling me that he survived? No way. Stop time, recover vessel. Did he survive? <gasps> 18 science! Recovered a vessel after sub -autobal or I don't know how I survived that. I had no parachute. I was coming in so fast. I got 18 science for my trouble. Mmm. Fine. I'm very... <laughs> how is that possible? How is that possible? Yeah, I'll take those parts back. Thank you. Yeah, I'll take the pilot back. No worries. Thank you very much. So... <laughs> what if it crashes? What if the game crashes? I think I might have to save it there because that's the best I've done. <laughs> I don't want it to crash. I don't want it to crash. I'm so pleased with that. So this rocket that is worthy of uh, being saved. This is first orbital, table orbital. My first, the first rocket I've ever got into a semi orbital, orbitable state. <laughs> yeah, save it. Save this thing. Good. Somehow they survived. So, if you're playing this game and you're playing career mode, with this game as well, you have to play the tutorials. It's an absolute must. I've been doing it in increments because uh, with career mode, you can't get out of this. It's, you have to you have to build up to these things. Um, so, so yeah, that's that. <laughs> I'm going to tweak the design, try and get some more science, and then... Uh, I'll probably make another video, but um, if you've got any, if you've got any tips, I would love to hear them because it's a complicated game. <laughs> Ivy Table, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. I hope you enjoyed my rocket. I sure, I sure have. <laughs> Why well, I forgot to tell you? Obviously, I've been laughing like a fool this whole time. Uh, I'll see you again soon. In the meantime.